This is fine. All right, folks, today we're going to be talking about brand scarcity. And I know before you guys start brushing the comments, I haven't been the most active on this channel, but like every other YouTuber, I swear I'm going to get better. Okay, so this video is about the craziness that is high fashion. Really, the big reason why this got started is I got this shirt at a thrift store for $15. Ridiculous, right? When I would tell people, they would immediately jump to the fact that it has to be fake, which honestly it probably is. But that kind of got me wondering why every time we find something for a good price, it has to be fake. And I mean, at first I thought it was because there's just such a small amount of clothes that have this logo on it. But why is that? And how did that start? Today, we're gonna be talking about branding through scarcity, how it hacks your brain, and what that tells us about our economy as a whole. Stay tuned. Ooh, this is kind of tight. Now, what might surprise you about this entire thing? Some of your favorite fashion brands, like Gucci and Burberry, Zara, even Nike, burn their clothes at the end of the year. Now, this practice isn't anything new. It's one of fashion's dirtiest open secrets. See, we've only known about this since 2013. After more than a thousand people died at a garment factory fire in Bangladesh, there's been more pressure on fashion brands to release information about their production line. And of course, some do, but these numbers are often skewed. They hide this burning and this destruction under energy recapture, completely legally. Which, sure, you might get some energy back, but any savings are outweighed by the environmental cost of burning everything you own. Since then, many other stories have come out, making Burberry the smallest problem on the list. Nike has been slashing their shoes and leaving them out in the dumpster if they can't sell them. H&M has burned 60 tons of clothing between 2013 and 2018. Heck, even those knockoff sports jerseys you find after going to any event, well, legally speaking, the police actually have to destroy those. Okay, so now we know that fashion brands have a long history of destroying things that they've spent a lot of time and money on. I, I, I mean, same. But why? What makes them do something that seems so backwards? has to do with a little thing that I like to call, and well, the rest of the world likes to call, scarcity. Scarcity, according to Merriam-Webster, is in the state of being in short supply. Our lizard brains are trained to identify anything that is scarce. Back in the cave days, low resources triggered our need to start hunting and gathering again, or to grab these resources from other potential competition. I mean, when something is scarce, it makes sense to focus on that and get as much as you can before focusing on other things. years and years of evolution, we haven't changed at all. That lizard brain is actually yelling at us all the time. And that's the basis of our supply and demand curves. Alright, so how can we use this for our benefit? Well, let's say that we started a new fashion brand that we're gonna call Soups. Well, you know and I know, and we know, that soups is the hypest thing on the market right now. But how do we get other people to believe that? So I know that people want to buy soups because it has a higher perceived value. 
and that means they'll probably be willing to pay more for it if they think that it's worth more. I mean, it's the same reason why someone could justify spending so much money on rent in uh, San Francisco. <laughs> what if we say there's less in the world than there actually are, and knowing that scarcity works, we artificially limit the supply? What if we destroyed the clothes that we didn't sell to make people think that we've sold out every single time. And so that's why the competition always destroys their own clothes. It hikes up the prices because when there's less of something, people think it's more valuable. Well, that's all I got for you today. I hope you learned a thing or two about values and incentives, and you check out my merch brand when it drops. Latest thing to take over the market. Supreme, I'm coming for you. And if you liked that video, make sure you like the video down below and comment about maybe the weirdest fashion brands you wish you could have seen burned. I wish I could burn every single goddamn mullet. Smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, have a supercharged day. See you.